Glenn grew up on a small farm north of St. Claude, Manitoba, and being around trucks and equipment all the time and recognizing the opportunity of a better life for himself, he ended up buying his first truck at 18 and began hauling gravel locally with it. Eventually, finding his way up north working in Flin Flon in the construction industry, Jason was born in September of 1974. Once Jason was able to leave the hospital, the family made the decision to move back to St. Claude and be closer to family and friends, buying a house a few miles away from the old farmstead Len's parents owned. After buying his first truck and moving between a few companies, he landed at Wade's Grain Feed and Fertilizer in Headingley, Manitoba. Shortly after starting there, Len got the opportunity to become a dispatcher and put a driver in his truck. This new role allowed him to be home every night, but Len was facing the challenge of a long daily commute mixed with the long hours of being a dispatcher. He decided to take his family closer to work and found a home in St. Francis Xavier. After a couple of years, Len decided to try his hand with General Freight, buying another truck, getting his own authority and a small customer base with Steady Freight and Len Newbaugh Trucking was born. When I think of Len Dubois Trucking, I just think of, you know, where we started um, back in the day, early on days, you know, dad driving himself, doing, uh, you know, the paperwork, looking after the business side of things as well with my mom, but then, you know, going out on a trip to Saskatoon in the evening and just kind of doing everything he could to just build it up. Uh, that's kind of, you know, I always think about those early days. Um, they were They were challenging, but they were... They were rewarding, they were fun, they were exciting, you know, of what the opportunity could hold. Uh, that's kind of what I think about, you know, kind of where we started and, you know, kind of where we are now. Mm -hmm. We were in Elgin Avenue for almost 20 years. The building was fantastic. The property allowed us to, to grow from, you know, 10 trucks or so up to 50, 60 trucks at the time. Um, drove by it the other day and you know we wondered how we operated out of that that small area in, in you know in the downtown area of the city but but we made it work and it was uh, it was a great a great uh, stepping stone for us it helped us kind of catapult to uh, to where we are today here but moving to uh, this this property here now uh, was very exciting uh, stressful at the same time because we had to keep the business running while we were trying to move stressful times for sure but you know it was a it's a great move for for us for our drivers the uh the egress in and out of the city is is way better than navigating mcphillips and logan every day it's been a wonderful uh a wonderful move for us but it, it did not come without its challenges that's for sure we're about 70 trucks or so right now um you know up and down over the years as the economy ebbs and flows but uh yeah we like to just uh, continue to grow but at just a nice steady pace we're not looking to make any big leaps or bounds just nice steady consistent profitable growth is what we're looking at you know both on the company side and the owner operators you know there could be opportunities for us to look into different services um, you know different asset types what have you so we're always on the lookout always um, looking to partner with great people and great organizations to help us grow but uh, you know, we just want to have a nice steady path forward and, uh, and just be consistent. Mm -hmm. One of the direct uh, lessons I learned from him was just his hard work. Uh, he worked, you know, every day. He put his heart and soul into, uh, into building Lendubois Trucking to what it was back then. He had just purchased the property. Um, you know, we were growing and uh, he had big ambitions, but it was just all with hard work. Um, some of the indirect things is just perseverance, just like keep going. Um, you know, he never stopped uh, trying to get better, trying to improve. You know, we talked about, you know, fuel economy all the time. Uh, it was always just, you know, trucking's a game of, of pennies and it was always just a really uh, focus on trying to just get better every single day.